Dear student, myself Rajendra Asiri, I am Assistant Professor in Computer Science Department at Government Bangar PG College, Ditwana. In previous lecture, we started a lecture series on indexing and hashing. And in that series, we discussed about various basic concept of indexing. In indexing, if we want to search any record in a file, then it is very convenient if we are using an index, right? Now we can implement the index in various different different types like primary index, secondary index or primary index is called as clustering and secondary index is called as non-clustering index, right? Then some concept about indexing like search key means if we want to find or search a particular record in a file then with help of some attribute we can do so the collection of attribute with the help of which we can search a particular record is called as search key right then there are rules of uh, uh, pointers are very important in case of searching right after that we started two types of indexes first was dense index and second was the sparse index in dense index we discussed that for every search key value there is a corresponding record available in a file but in case of sparse index as the name implies there may be the possibility for some search key there are no entry in of the record in a file right so there are some missing entry in case of uh, sparse index after that we started multi-level index so if you want to remove or reduce the complexity of indexing mechanism then we can label the index the outer index and inner index so first we will search the record in for the index in the outer index if it is found then uh, the outer index contain the collection of various indexes then we will go to the inner index and when and with help of the inner index search key value we will go to the required uh, record Right. So in this manner, the indexing are very helpful in, find out, in finding out the required record. Right. <coughs> so up to this point, indexing and hashing, indexing basic all we have done, then order index we have just started. So now next is, so up to this point we learned about the indexing basics. Now if we want to do some updation in index like if we want to insert a new index or if we want to delete an existing index then how we can perform these operation or what type of steps are involved to perform these operation so first we are taking index update and in that the deletion of the index if deleted record was the only record in the file with its particular search key value the search key is also deleted from the index value if you see the diagram so there are various search key values are there and the corresponding record are being pointed by the search key index right now we are saying that only uh, the record is uh, we want to delete is having uh, only one search key it is corresponding to only one search key and only one record is present then if that record is also deleted then there is no significance of the search key now further so we need to delete that particular search key also from the index right so this is very important point first point again if deleted record was the only record in the file with its particular search key value then the search key is deleted from the index also right now if we are removing the single label index then in case of dense there is different mechanism and in case of sparse index there is different mechanism so we are taking one by one first if we want to uh, remove or delete the record in single level index index and in that also particularly for the dense index then what will happen deletion of search key similar to file record deletion means we need to delete the file record as well as at the same time we need to delete the search key value corresponding to that record right next is in sparse indexes if an entry for the search key exists in the index it is deleted 
by replacing the entry in the index with the next search key value in the file or in the search key order because the search key are sorted manner right so if the entry of the search key existing in the index then it is deleted by replacing the entry in the index with the next search key value in the file why because when the entry is deleted now the next entry will be now current entry right so in search key order we need to replace keep on replacing okay as and when we are deleting any record or index <coughs> now if the next search key value already has an index entry then what will happen so if you see uh, the next entry is also having the entry then that entry will be now uh, treated as the current index search key value right so this is depicted in this particular example now next is index updation and the operation is insertion if we are want to perform uh, an updation while inserting a new index then we can do this so first we are taking single level index insertion to perform this we have to perform a lookup we need to search lookup means we need to search using the search key value appearing in the record to be inserted right now there are two cases first for dense indexes and second for sparse indexes for dense indexes if the search key value does not appear in the index insert it if the search key value doesn't exist okay then we need to insert it from our side second is sparse index if the index stores an entry for each block of the file then no change needs to made to the index unless a new block is created right if a new block is created then the first search key value appearing in the new block is inserted into the index file okay <coughs> means if the new block is created already the first search key value appearing in the new block is inserted into the index now this is all about the single level okay first category first category was single level and now second category is in multi level indexing if we want to insert an index then it is a complex task in comparison to single level index deletion insertion how so in multi level insertion as well as deletion algorithms are simple extension of the single level algorithm means we need to just extend uh, the single level algorithm at one more level okay same task we need to perform at two level next is <coughs> secondary indexes so up to this point we discussed about primary indexes now next is secondary indexes frequently one wants to find all the record whose values in a certain field right means which is not the search key or value of the primary index and they satisfy some condition like some examples are listed here so example one in the account relation stored sequentially by account number yes because with the help of account number attribute we can distinguish among two account entries or two account record right so account number is here search key now we may want to find all account in particular branch then this is helpful account number is helpful right in that example 2 as above in the above example but where we want to find all the account with a specified balance or range of balances means some we want a particular uh, with the particular branch there are some entries but if we want a range of the balances then there will be many many uh, uh, records in an output maybe okay so we can have a secondary index with an index record for each search key value <coughs> okay so we required a secondary index in this case with an index record for each search key value okay so secondary index example is written here 
so up to this point if you see in the search key and search key value are direct were directly pointing to the records but now if you see there are some uh, one in the inner uh, this is the inner layer right this is the inner layer inside this we are putting some set of index record right so in secondary indexes index record point to this index record pointing to a bucket that contains pointed to all the actual record with that particular search key value right so now secondary indexes have to be dense means for every search key value there should be some entry present in the corresponding file record right so if you see the outer index secondary index then the list of the index record and then that that index record are pointing to the actual record in the file right now primary and secondary indexes what is the difference indexes offer sequential substantial benefits when searching for the record yes it is very true because when we are searching then if we are having uh, some index then it is very very convenient to search a particular record in the file system or database but updating indexes impose overhead on the database modification means if we update the index then it is a complicated task and it will add some overhead on the database modification so when a file is modified every index on the file must be updated right sequential scheme using primary index is efficient but a sequential scheme using a secondary index is very very expensive right now each record access may fetch a new block from the disk now block fetch require about 5 to 10 millisecond now what says about 100 nanosecond for memory access right so block fetch require about 5 to 10 millisecond millisecond which is very high in comparison to 10 nanosecond for the memory access now next we are starting a new concept that is b plus tree index files what is b plus so b plus tree indexes are an alternative to indexed sequential files now why we should go for b plus tree index file because there are some disadvantage or limitation of indexed sequential files what are that performance degrade as file grow so when we keep on uh, increasing the file size performance drastically drastically degrade okay since there are many overflow blocks get created next periodic reorganization of entire file is required now there are some advantage also for b plus tree index file previously we uh, just uh, at the above we just done disadvantage of existing index sequential file now why we should go for b plus tree because there are some advantage of this um, using this b plus tree index file first automatically recognize itself with small local changes in the phase of insertion and deletion so insertion and deletion is simpler in b plus tree index file in comparison to index sequential files second reorganization of entire file is not required to maintain the performance now there are some minor disadvantage also for the b plus tree like extra insertion and deletion overhead and space overhead is present some advantage which or we uh, or make this disadvantage is b plus tree are used extensively okay mainly used b plus tree b plus tree index file are having some concept some basics so a b plus tree is a rooted tree satisfying the following property one root is there and there are some property in b plus tree first all path from root to leaf are of the same length from root to leaf all the path are should be of the same length second each node that is not a root or a leaf has between we can say upper bound of n by 2 and n children this is very important point if each node that is not a root 
the node which is not a root or a leaf means all the intermediate node has between upper bound of n by 2 and n children between this a leaf node second possibility a leaf node has between upper bound of n minus 1 by 2 and n minus 1 values right now there are some special case if the root is not the leaf means only root is available in a b plus tree if that is not the possibility then it has at least two children it is a special case if the root is leaf only one node that is there are no other node in the tree it can have between 0 and n minus 1 values right <coughs> next in a b plus tree every node can have the structure which is depicted below so if you see p1 k1 p2 k2 and so on p n minus 1 k n minus 1 and then pn so k of i are the search key value all the k values are the search key value and p i are pointer to the children for non leaf node or pointer to record or bucket of record for the leaf node because leaf node is actually pointing to the record and non leaf node is pointing to the uh, further node in the direction of the leaf node now search keys in a node are in ordered manner they are sorted like k1 less than k2 less than k3 and so on up to k n minus 1 there are n minus 1 keys and n we can say pointers right so this is all about the b plus tree in the next class some no more concept about the uh, indexing as and hashing we will be learning thank you